Merry Christmas. I thank God for you all, all nations, all people, all tongue. Merry Christmas to everyone in the face of this earth, all men, women, boy, and girls. Praise be to God for you. In Christ Jesus, all nations shall be blessed. All nations. He didn't leave out anybody. All nations shall be blessed. Jesus came from heaven, a spiritual place. He had to learn how to live as a human being in the earth. We are human beings which have to learn how to live spiritually. And Jesus came in the earth to teach us how to live spiritually on this earth as human beings, as new creations. We can't do it without the Holy Spirit. We can't do it without the power of God. We can't do it on our own accord. Moses showed us that. So the next time someone say to you, you are so spiritually minded, you are no earthly good, take it as a compliment because you are on the right road, the highway of the kingdom of God who is not married to this mess of the world in the earth. Satan is married to this mess, not God. I want to pray a little prayer for everyone. Lord, I pray for all the social media employees and their families. Please deliver them, set them free, and protect them. Help them to choose you over the cares of this world. Please continue to prosper them and their families in every area of their lives. I pray for all business owners. Father, in the name of Jesus, open their eyes and their ears to your voice, to see and to hear and obey your voice, that they may bless their communities. And I thank you for hearing my prayer in Jesus' name. Hop the harrow angels sing, glory to the newborn king, peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Today we are in the book of Luke, Luke chapter 2. And we are, we're looking at it from the perspective of Luke, the birth of Jesus. Yesterday, we looked at it at, from the perspective of Matthew, the birth of Jesus. Luke chapter 2, and it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem which is called Bethlehem because he was of the house of the lineage of David to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife being great with child. Mary is pregnant with Jesus and, and Joseph and her have to travel to, to go be taxed in their own cities. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. It's time for Jesus to be born now. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room in the inn. There was no room in the inn. So Jesus was born in the barn. And there were in the 
the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were afraid. Just imagine if an angel or the glory of the Lord appeared unto you today, I think you would be afraid also. I know I would. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people, all men, women, and children. The great joy is for us all, not some. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, laying in a manger. And suddenly there, were, there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, good will towards men. Well, when a sinner gives his life to Jesus Christ, angels are rejoicing in heaven. They are praising God for your life. So if you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ is your personal savior and you would like to, by faith believe that Jesus was born in the earth as a man child, that he died on the cross and he rose again on the third day. Believe in your heart by faith. Confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Repent of your sins and ask one of your family members that is saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost to pray with you and ask God to lead you to a church home. The glory of God in the highest and on earth peace and goodwill towards men. And it came to pass as the angel were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, let us now go even unto Bethlehem to see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known to us. God is making known to us that there's a savior, that we don't have to die in our sins, that there is a way out, that we can have eternal life. God is opening up our minds, our heart, our eyes, our ears, that we can hear and see the power of God through the birth of Christ Jesus. Salvation is free. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning the child. See, they told what the angels told them they made known. They preached the word. Viewer, if you know the Lord Jesus Christ is your personal savior, you too can preach the word. We are to be discipled so that we can disciple others. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. Just like the word of God go forth out of the preacher's mouth, out of the teacher's mouth. People wonder about it. That's why it's so important to go home and open your Bible and read it. Read it for yourself so the Holy Spirit can anoint you with his power and share some things about your life with you that will happen in the future that's happening right now how to handle situations how to walk by faith what to do next whatever you're worrying about turn it over to the lord god almighty to do jesus christ and it's my father jesus said it's my father that does the work and mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart 
Mary received the, the, the words that the shepherd said to her, and she pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying, praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, and as it was told unto them. Now Mary, the shepherds were blessed. Mary and Joseph were blessed, and all the people that were with them that heard the shepherds were blessed. The shepherds took the word. We are to take the word to the world. And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcision of the child, his name was called Jesus, which was, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. God gave his name to, to the angels before he was conceived in the womb. And when the days of her purifications, according to the law of Moses, were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Thank you for listening. God bless. Have a wonderful day and stay safe this holiday season.